Hey guys, and welcome to another What's in the Box. Now, this is probably going to be my most epic What's in the Box that I have uh, filmed to date. In fact, this is going to take some beating, to be fair. So, as a lot of people that know me throughout the years have always known, I've been a huge fan of handheld gaming, which has basically meant we've been limited to Nintendo or Sony. However, times as they are changing, and one thing that I've always dreamt about as a boy growing up is having a PC that I could take with me. The flexibility of Windows and all of the games in a handheld form factor, that has always, always been my dream device. And thanks to Steam and Valve, a couple of years ago, for making that a reality, the Steam Deck came out. And my God, I have never wanted a device more in my life than when I saw that system. However, as cool as the Steam Deck was, it wasn't without its limitations. And I'm not just talking about the performance, I'm talking about the fact that you're locked to Steam OS. So, I put up a post on my community page, uh, I think it was on Monday, because that's when it was supposed to get here, Monday. Four days later, it has finally arrived. This is probably the thing that I have been most excited for out of anything in my tech life. As a huge PC gamer and always feeling that pinch of limitation with handhelds, uh, this is going to hopefully change everything. Now, of course, what am I talking about? Well, there was only one thing that fit the bill. There's only one device that really, truly had my attention. And it wasn't perfect. I really had my eye on the ROG Ally. However, it had a few limiting factors that always kept me from pulling the trigger. Now, a couple of months ago, a year almost after the Ally arrived, Asus has brought out another product. And guys, when this thing dropped, I couldn't actually pre-order it quick enough because growing up as a handheld player, this baby in here has literally been my dream machine, hopefully, for as long as I can remember. So this is the ROG Ally X. This is the new system and it's, it's a big boy. It's not cheap. In fact, you can get almost four Nintendo Switches for the price of this thing. In fact, you can if you're buying the Switch Lite. But the versatility that this thing is gonna give me is going to be absolutely insane. And as I said before, I haven't been this excited about any product ever from a tech standpoint that I can even remember until this thing was announced. So. What exactly do we have here? Well, it is literally a handheld PC. And it has all the advantages and yes, disadvantages of that. And now it's not in white, which was another factor that kept me away from the original ROG Ally. The fact that it was in white. I wasn't a fan. And that is way too much zoom there. There we go. Gorgeously packed. So you can actually pick up the original ROG. Oh, she's a thick boy. She's thick. You can actually pick up the original Ally now for about 500 pounds. But I think the upgrades that this one has over the original are gonna be absolutely worth it. So this one has double the storage, 
It has double the memory. So this one's gone up from 16 gigs of RAM all the way up to 24. So you can have eight gigs of RAM dedicated to your uh, GPU memory. And you can have 64 gigs dedicated, uh, no, 16 gigs dedicated to the system. And look at her there. She is gorgeous. We also have an 80 watt hour battery, a nice big fat boy battery in there, which will give you a horrendous amount of gameplay. One terabyte SSD installed. You can open this up, replace the battery, replace the sticks, replace the um, SSD. Got a micro SD slot. You got your nice power button here. And what I like about the power button is this is also a, thing, a fingerprint reader. Got two USB ports. One is USB 4, one is USB 3.2. And the USB 4 port, you can actually attach an external um, graphics card to. So if you want to dock it like a Switch and strap in a RTX 4080, <laughs> not recommended because this that will push this thing's bandwidth but uh you can do that also this thing has an eight core 16 thread cpu in it which is basically the same thing that i've got in my pc and it has pretty decent built-in graphics now i don't know if there's actually any charge there is no charge in the system xbox buttons standard Really nice feeling system. Now what shocks me about this is just how premium it feels. Going from the Switch to this, oh man, what a difference. But of course, when you're spending £800 on a handheld, you're going to need to get yourself sorted with some accessories. So let me show you what I've got so far. Actually, before we do that, we should probably plug the unit in and turn it on. <laughs> whilst it's uh, whilst we're looking at everything else, we'll get it juiced up. So I'm not 100% sure what you actually get included with this thing. It's probably just a load of old guff, to be honest. Now, I've never had one of these handheld PCs before. In search of incredible. Uh-huh. Warranty card. Hey, it's an Asus product, so that's basically toilet paper. Right, what else have we got? So I've been toying for a while about getting a handheld, uh, well, not even a handheld, uh, uh, an actual gaming laptop. So we get our charging plug there, obviously. But the trouble is, I want something portable that I can just take to work and play. Now, a gaming, hand a gaming laptop will have way more power than this, as long as you spend a lot more money, of course. Um, but it doesn't have the flexibility of this. And we've got a 65 watt charger bundled in, which is interesting. So you get a 65 watt power adapter. However, this unit can be charged up to 100 watts. So interesting, maybe I'll upgrade that. Now the great thing about it is because it is literally a Windows PC built into a controller, is it has all the customization of that as well. So, one second. Okay, so she's getting charged up, she's getting some juice. Now, one thing I did want to get for it is a dock. And uh, I picked up this U green one just because it seemed to tick all the boxes. I've actually already opened it, but that is the uh, dock there. So it supports the 100 watt charging, it's got ethernet and all that good stuff built in. Nine in one USB-C dock as well. I've actually already opened that, and it's this meaty thing here, and it is all metal. You've got USB ports, you've got display outs, you've got everything you're going to need on it to turn this thing into a mini Nintendo Switch. Now, one thing I will say, this dock cost, oh, what did this dock cost? This cost £40. It was actually half price in the um, Amazon sale that we had um, a few weeks ago. Now, what I find interesting about this is the Switch dock is £100 
and it's a horrible piece of plastic with two USB ports on it. This thing is completely machine aluminium with nice rubber pads, everything you could possibly want. And this was 40% like of that cost, which is curious. Also, one thing I like about this particular dock is, if I can find it, da -da 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 -da, it has a removable cable. So, I believe we pop that one in there, like so, and then that connects to the uh, ally top. But what's interesting is this is replaceable. So, if this wire wears out for whatever reason, because you can just, this folds up, you can throw it in a bag and take it around. That's another thing I like about this thing. Portability, yes, a laptop is portable, but if, for instance, I'm on a train, this is much easier to whip out, you know what I'm saying? And if this does break or fracture or whatever, it's replaceable. So what we could do, whilst the old girl is taking a charge, she is taking a charge, we could probably whip that out. We can find a comfortable sort of, ooh, oh, she fits lovely. We can put the back plate on and I need to see the ports in before I drop it. There we go. And then I have more accessories coming for this thing as well, but they're not here yet, sadly. And then that should go in like that. Will she charge? Yep, she's charging. So she, and because this dock is adjustable, you can kind of adjust the angle to whatever you want. Now the screen on it is IPS, it's not OLED. Personally, I don't care about OLED. Everybody keeps ragging on the fact that it's not OLED. Yes, it would be nice, but OLED has uh, burning issues that you gotta worry about and all that kind of stuff. I'm just happy that we've got a 1080p, 120 frames a second, FreeSync premium screen on this. So we can run up to 120 frames. It's V-Sync, uh, it's um, VRR. So you're not gonna have any tearing, any frame pacing issues, hopefully. Uh, you know, like my monitor is. And it is a game changer. So I also bought in the Prime sales, because my use case for this device is, is not just AAA gaming. Oh no, I'm not super bothered about that. But I also, in the Prime sales, picked up a terabyte micro SD card because we have an SD card slot in here. This is just gonna be loaded up with my ROMs and emulators because the majority of what I'm gonna be playing on here, uh, well, at least 50% of the time is gonna be GameCube games, um, PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games, PSP games, that kind of thing. So a terabyte of storage in there, gonna be lovely. Now, also I needed something to put it in because again, this device uh, is not something you're just gonna throw around. You know, a switch is a lot of money, but it's a lot easier to financially replace than this thing is. So, as some of you know, I got the Switch Cracked um, Nitro Deck Plus. Now this was actually delayed and I got an apology from the company. Apparently everybody did. What they did is they gave us all a 40% off voucher. It, this, the fact that this thing was delayed didn't even really bother me. Like it was only a few days. Um, you know, I didn't even register it in my head, didn't think about it, but because it was, they gave us a 40% off voucher. So I bought with my voucher, this bag. It is the cracked portable game console carrying bag. I believe this thing is disgusting. It's like 70 odd quid. It's something, or 60 odd, it's something absolutely ridiculous like that, which I would not recommend paying anywhere close to that for it. However, 
Yeah, I think I paid in the end about £32 for it, which was fine. I mean, you've got all your pockets in here for your docks, your cables, your chargers. You've got your system in there. This is actually like a magnetic holding flap as well. I can actually demonstrate that with the switch. Like so. There we go. You guys know how a bag works. Lovely. Um, we have even more pockets. We have one on the back, which is quite a big pocket as well. Also, the actual clip thing here is quite a nice little design. Just slides out, slides in, and it's kind of like, it's magnetic as well, which is quite nice. That's got to be worth you 70 quid or 60 quid, hasn't it, surely? Now, also coming today are screen protectors for it. Uh, they're not here yet. I also want to get a skin to go over it as well. But <laughs> even though this thing technically came out four days ago, there aren't any available yet. Let's see if we can turn it on now. There we go. It is very, very nice. Like I say, you know, it is literally just a Windows PC with a controller, two controllers. So let's see how long it actually takes. You can just about hear the fans from here. Seems to be taking a while. I'm sure that's fine. Definitely haven't got... Oh, the sticks are nice. Mm, yeah, I like that. Oh, there we go. It's going to want me to do all the window setup and all that guff, isn't it? Now, that actually looks white on the screen, <laughs> on the camera. But actually, in person, it's a very nice kind of uh, bluey purple. Put your volume rockers. And there we go, just a moment. Windows is starting. I'm sure it'll get there eventually. So I'm gonna be putting Silent Hill 2 on this. It's gonna be the enhanced upgraded uh, edition, just to give that a play around with. We're gonna be putting some emulators on this thing, and we're gonna be putting some actual proper AAA games on there. In fact, Chris, for my birthday, sent me over, yay, Windows. Everybody hates Windows. I love Windows. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I actually really like Windows. Um, we are going to be taking a look at Robocop on it, because Chris sent me that for my birthday. But I've been holding that back for when I get this system. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on the rater by pressing Windows and Control and Enter. Windows, Control and Enter, huh? Where's that? Press Windows and U, or select the accessibility <laughs> icon in the bottom corner. Alright. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this one off here. Uh, I'm going to go set this up and get it started. And then, I don't know when this video is going to go up. Hopefully today. And then maybe tomorrow, I'll show off uh, a video of us playing around with some stuff. Um, I'm really, ex I'm buzzing. I'm actually buzzing. I haven't been this excited, oh God, since I was a kid, probably. I don't know. Uh, and then maybe once a week, I want to, I'm going to have a, an ally segment and we're just going to play games. It might be emulated games. It might be, you know, a triple A game. It might be something off Game Pass. Cause that's right. This thing has Game Pass. It, it's a PC. <laughs> it's literally a PC. So yeah. I'm going to go have fun and I'll catch you guys next time.